good day to everybody uh, today i am going to discuss about gene expression in eukaryotic cell uh, in my previous uh, video i have already discussed about the gene expression in prokaryotic cell like bacterial cell uh, in a prokaryotic cell it is op uh, this dependent the gene expression regulation of gene expression dependent on the mainly the operon like lac operon they are uh, the repressor gene regular uh, promoter gene uh, operator gene uh, uh, located and after that uh, structural gene will be there but in case of eukaryotic uh, cell the gene expression is not very uh, is a little bit complex uh, little bit uh, complex type so in the case of eukaryotic gene expression the regulation of gene expression in eukaryotic cell uh, it is uh, mainly happened in uh, five levels what are the five levels i am discussing about this um, uh, um, gene expression in eukaryotic cell how it is happened i am discussing about that there are five levels i have told you first one is the epigenetic regulation epigenetic regulation regulation second one is uh, transcriptional regulation transcriptional transcriptional regulation third one is post transcriptional regulation post transcriptional regulation fourth one is translation regulation translation regulation and fifth one is post -transla translation translational post translational regulation so there are three five stage five levels of regulation can be happened in case of gene expression of in eukaryotic cell now one by one i will discuss about that and uh, first one is the epigenetic regulation what is epigenetic regulation let's discuss about that uh, epigenetic regulation means epigenetic means around genetics it is a very new uh, new field developing field of biology a relatively new field and uh, what it is happen it is generally uh, concerned about the uh, the chemical modification of dna or chromosomal protein chromosomal protein means histone so there there is a one type one example of uh, the chemical modification of dna how chemical modification of dna can influence the gene expression in eukaryotic cell um, one of the, uh, the methyl group can be attached to the dna molecule uh, to uh, dna molecule in a process called methylation this methylation uh, actually suppresses the gene expression when any gene it will be attached to the dna they, they, generally they will suppress the gene expression and uh, in uh, most interestingly uh, this uh, modification of the chemical modification of the dna can be passed on uh, due, due by uh, as cell divides means the parents may be able to 
pass on the tendency of a gene to be expressed in their offsprings. Mean it will be maintained in the generation to generation, the methylation process. Actually, it will suppress the gene expression. It's a one type of regulation of gene expression. And another thing is that uh, we know that in chromosome, uh, there, there will be some histone proteins along with DNA molecule. And uh, in, um, uh, in human genome, we know that uh, there are uh, 3 billion nucleotide pairs in DNA molecule. And we know that uh, the human genome has uh, 46 chromosomes. 46 chromosomes and each chromosome will contain 130 million nucleotide pairs. So, when we we'll stretch the um, chromosome, it will uh, spread through uh, like length of 4 centimeters. But uh, you have to fit this uh, long chromosome, uh, rather uh, uh, long, longer chromosome in the nucleus of the microscopic cell. So, what happened? This DNA will wind around the um, uh, histone protein very tightly so that it can accommodate uh, the whole uh, histone and this DNA molecule uh, together it will call it will be called nucleosome and they can be fit uh, fit in the uh, nucleus of the microscopic cell. So they will be tightly bound to the histone protein. How they will bound, bound around the new, uh, histone protein, I will show by drawing a dra diagram. Like that, histone protein like that. It is like histone proteins and how DNA will be uh, will bind uh, around the histone proteins like that. This will be DNA will be bind like that, whole DNA. Roughly like that. DNA, this is DNA strand, double strand and this is the histone protein. This is the histone protein. Now, this will be tightly bound around the histone protein. Now, what happens this type of thing when uh, some uh, uh, generally DNA is negative in nature and histone proteins are positive in nature. They are uh, when the gene will not be expressed, they are tightly bound and uh, in between this that gene will be present. So, gene will be not exposed to the RNA polymerase or other uh, transcription factor protein to uh, initiate the uh, mRNA uh, transcription, uh, transcription, mRNA synthesis. So, it will be blocked the uh, uh, gene expression like that tightly bound to each other. When what happened when uh, the some uh, um, uh, signal or tag will be like phosphate group, like acetyl group, methyl group will uh, bind to the this histone protein, the chromosomal histone protein. They will, uh, the, they are positive uh, in case of acetyl, if acetyl will be group by, will bind to the uh, histone protein, the histone protein positive charge will be less 
and they will be loose pack. Um, my means they will be uh, the, uh, remove the DNA and open open the DNA and open the gene particular gene for uh, um, uh, to access the RNA polymerase and uh, other transcription factor to join with this DNA to uh, produce the mRNA synthesis that means genes expression in this way the histone protein and DNA can be maintained can be control can control the uh, gene expression in eukaryotic cell in case of uh, uh, like uh, uh, when it is closed uh, closed surface the histone protein, this is our histone proteins. These are all histone proteins bound together. When gene will be not expressed, in the case of gene will be not expressed, then it will be bound like that and like DNA will be bound like that and like that DNA will be opened. So in this case, here so, um, uh, say that here the gene DNA in DNA the gene will be present here. So here it is closed. It is bound together. So here we can not uh, this uh, DNA will be expressed to the uh, uh, exposed to the RNA polymerase and transcription factor for the transcription. So there the gene expression will be suppressed. Gene expression will be not done. So, and in case of another case when uh, acetyl group will be attached to the histone protein what happened in this case when acetyl protein will be attached like that This is DNA and this is histone protein. Here the, the, there is the gene say that gene is present here and now acetyl group this is the uh, histone tail this is called histone tail and this is the acetyl group. This is the acetyl group attached with the histone tail and make it uh, less positive. So it will be loose packed. Then the DNA will be exposed, exposed to the RNA polymerase for the transcription case. So the gene will be expressed here. So the, the, in, the, in this way, the epigenetic regulation can be happened by the modification, chemical modification of DNA and chromosomal protein histone. Now next, next level of gene expression is transcriptional level of gene expression. Transcriptional, transcriptional gene expression. What have happened in the transcriptional gene expression? Uh, uh, we, we know that the, there will be some promoter region and uh, there will be some uh, uh, actually uh, in the gene when the gene is like that this is the gene actual gene will be transcribed this is the promoter region and this is the enhancer 
enhancer region. And what happened? This enhancer will be, uh, this is the activator molecule. This is the activator molecule and this is the uh, transcriptional factors, transcriptional factors like that, which will bind to the uh, promoter region and start the gene expression. Now, the, the activator, when uh, this enhancer can be uh, not a proximity of the promoter region, it can be uh, 1 to 100 nucleotide away from the promoter region in the upstream of the gene or downstream of the gene. But what happened, this promoter will influence when that enhancer will uh, combine with the activator activator it will bend like that and here is the RNA polymerase it will be bent like that here is the enhancer this is the enhancer this is the activator protein and this is the gene and uh, P promoter region and gene and the RNA polymerase the, this this is the transcription uh, uh, transcription pro, uh, transcription factors attached with the gene and they will express the start the gene expression like that their RNA polymer or polymerase will attach like that the transcriptional factor can be influenced by this activator here in place of activator there will be some repressor may be present and repressor will bind to the promoter or enhancer region and block the gene expression this is the thing this is the thing and another thing is that the um, i will discuss about that another thing is that the stability of mRNA by transcription we will get the mRNA the stability of mRNA stability of mRNA how how controlled stability of mRNA now stability of mRNA is that uh, in case of prokaryotic cell uh, all the things transcription and translation has been occurred in the uh, cytoplasm itself there is no separate nucleus in prokaryotic cell you know that and in case of eukaryotic cell there will be separate nucleus and uh, the transcription will be wholly controlled in the nucleus itself but when the mRNA will be ready for translation for protein synthesis it will be come out from the uh, the nucleus and go to that cytoplasm and attach to the ribosome and they will start the protein synthesis so here the stability of the mrna is very important stability we know that there is a, a gene a gene there is a uh, 5 prime UTR UTR this is the uh, gene and this is the gene and this is the uh, 3 prime UTR UTR money, uh, means untranslated region of the gene 5 prime untranslated is a 5 cap 5 prime cap will be there poly cap Five prime cap and it is here poly A my adenine poly adenine group will be in the upstream of the in the downstream of the gene expression three prime side it is three prime UTR it is five prime UTR and this uh, what happened uh, the stability of gene uh, due to the poly uh, adenine group here in the downstream of the gene and the poly A cap here is a modified guanine will be attached to the 5 prime position and is a here 3 prime position 
পলি এ মানে মিনস দা পলি পলিমার অফ এ উইল বি প্রেজেন্ট হিয়ার সো ইট উইল গিভ দ্য স্টেবিলিটি অফ দ্য এম আর এনএ হ্যাঁ ইট উইল প্রোটেক্ট দ্য এম আর এনএ ফ্রম হাইড্রোলাইটিক এনজাইমস এন্ড ইট উইল হেল্প টু ট্রান্সপোর্ট দ্য এম আর এনএ ফ্রম নিউক্লিয়াস টু সাইটোপ্লাজম এন্ড ইট উইল অলসো হেল্পিং দ্য অ্যাটাচমেন্ট অফ দ্য এম আর এনএ উইথ দ্য রাইবোজোম ফর দ্য প্রোটিন প্রোডাকশন সো দিস ইজ দ্য ওয়ার্ক অফ দ্য স্টেবিলিটি অফ দ্য टाइप्स actually it is it will uh, primarily it will be bigger but it will by dicer protein it will be chopped into 221 to 24 nuclear micro mrna mi mrna which will address the rna polymerase along with the uh, small uh, nucleo protein রাইবোনিউক্লিও প্রোটিন টু মেক দা আর আই এস সি কমপ্লেক্স আর আই এস সি কমপ্লেক্স আর আই এস সি কমপ্লেক্স মানে মিনস রাইবোজোম ইন্ডিউসড রাইবোজোম ইন্ডিউসড সাইলেন্সিং কমপ্লেক্স আর আই এস সি কমপ্লেক্স হোয়াট হ্যাপেন দিস থিং উইল অ্যাকচুয়ালি ব্লক দা জিন Uh, actually when it will be attached to the, this micro rna or mirna uh, risc will complex will bind to the promoter region it will be it will start degrades the mrna like that the, if this uh, mirna or micro rna will attach with the uh, promoter region of the mrna it will degrade the mrna now uh, post uh, this is the transcriptional uh, regulation of gene expression now another thing is the post third one is the level of gene expression is post transcriptional transcriptional regulation now the, what is the post transcriptional regulation uh, i will discuss about that actually uh, in case of prokaryotic gene there will be no inter interfering gene but in case of eukaryotic cell gene uh, there is so many man maximum is the interfering gene man non coding gene which will not used for the production of protein or gene expression which is called introns introns which is called introns and uh, and the gene which will be coded or used for the gene expression or protein synthesis is called exons so in eukaryotic cell it has been seen that only 1% gene is the exons and 99% is no of no use if we have uh, 3 billion nucleotide pairs in a gene that 99% is no use only 1% will be used for the uh, gene expression this is called exon and which are not non coded region will be uh, expressed at introns so what happened uh, there is a rna splicing after the transcription uh, after the transcription we will get pre -MR, mrna and this pre mrna there will be exon 1 intron 
एक्सन टू इंट्रन एक्शन थ्री इंट्रन एंड एक्शन फोर व्हाट एवर यू सी दैट फ्रॉम दिस जीन स्ट्रक्चर इन यूकैरियोटिक सेल द एक्स कोडेड रीजन इज इंटरप्टेड बाय द नॉन कोडेड रीजन so you have to remove this non coded region before translation and when after transcription we will go get the pre mrna this is pre mrna pre mrna it is it will be processed it will be spliced which is called rna splicing it will be spliced to select only the exon and remove the introns all the non coding regions and there is a one concept of one type of splicing is there in eukaryotic cell which is called alternative mrna plice rna splicing alternative mrna splicing what is alternative mrna splicing intron will be removed this is okay but sometimes what happened this intron when the when we are trying to remove the intron from here to make the exon so this intron will be removed along with the intervening exon exon because here the intron should be removed this intron instead of only removing this intron we remove whole with uh, well two introns with one intervening exons and what will be give you the gene the mrna then this is called mature mrna you will get one gene of two type of gene you will get one gene of exon 1 exon 2 exon 3 and one gene of exon 1 exon 3 and exon 4 so you can get two type of genes from one gene this is the beauty of alternative splicing we can get different type of protein along with the original protein we can get more protein by alternative splicing and uh, 70% of the human gene will be produce the different type of proteins through alternative splicing and uh, 15% of our genetic disease and uh, cancer will be happen due to this alternative splicing rather than the mutation in the sequence dna sequence this is the thing the alternative splicing will be but the alternative splicing will open the possibility uh, open the possibility of new traits to new functions we will get new protein with new functions from this alternative from same gene one gene we can get different types of proteins by this alternative splicing this is very important and third one fourth one is the translational translational uh, regulation during translation and translation time during the protein synthesis time tra translational regulation regulation in translational regulation what happened now mature mrna will be produced from pre mrna by alternative uh, rna plus splicing and now this uh, um, uh, protein now the mrna is ready to produce the uh, protein 
and uh, they will attach to the ribosome present in the cytoplasm coming from the nucleus all the uh, alternative splicing will be happened itself in the nucleus and it will be come out from the after the alternative splicing it will be come out from the uh, nucleus and go to the uh, attach go and attach to the ribosome for protein synthesis now uh, they start the protein synthesis when they uh, we know that in trans translation in ribosome protein synthesis will be started and first few amino acid will be act as an tag tag or signal and uh, uh, what happened this amino acid can can be recognized by some srp means signal recognized particle when this signal recognized particle will attach with this uh, uh, mrna uh, they will be degraded they will be destroyed so uh, you have to um, uh, control these things prevent these things they will be attach with this this mrna and ribosome complex will attach with the uh, subtle to the endoplasmic reticulum another organelle in our cell and uh, they will be uh, protected by these things and the uh, translation will be started in case of rna splicing one thing i forget to mention about that Uh, generally there is a mechanism where that type of skipping the so intron one intron will be skipped uh, two intron will be uh, exon will be also removed that type of mistakes can be happen when there is a mechanism to prevent this mistakes but some uh, mutation can be occurred due to some mutation in the in this sequence it can be happened this alternative splicing so Uh, translational regulation has been happened like that, and uh, post uh, after this uh, fifth one is the post transcriptional after post transcriptional regulation, post translational regulation. What is the post translational regulation? Uh, actually, protein. now protein has been produced ha huh? now uh, we know that enzymes are uh, enzymes all enzymes are proteins now when the enzymes will be not required it uh, the gene should uh, the protein should not be used and the protein should not be required and protein should not be should not be required there so that time what happened the, uh, the competitive innovation and allosteric inhibition competitive inhibition means some product uh, actually enzyme has a active site there they, they will attach the substrate with, uh, at the 